so when I was designing this, I was planning on a 5 foot by 8 foot trailer to move this thing. Uh, and it turns out I actually have access to a 5 foot by 10 foot trailer, uh, which is going to be a lot nicer because the way this is right now, I'm not going to have very much legroom. I'm fairly tall and I'm not going to have very much legroom in here. So now that we have a 2 foot longer trailer, I can extend the back of this a little bit and get some extra legroom and then make an adjustable seat for shorter riders. So I'm just going to put some extensions on the back of this, like 5 inches or something, and extend the back out a little bit just to give us some more legroom here. So in 20 minutes I just built this like lathe thing so I can turn down this sprocket right here and turn, turn all the teeth off of it so I can use this as a brake disc. Uh, I want it to be even so I made this. It took me 20 minutes and it actually works. <laughs> single cylinder 500cc air cooled engine. I got this entire bike for 150 bucks and it's in pretty pretty good condition. It kicks over, has compression, it doesn't have spark. Um, I already bought a CDI for it, that didn't fix it. Pretty sure I need to buy an alternator stator for it because I'm not getting any power at the alternator output. But let's go ahead and drop the engine out of this and then we can mock it up on the buggy and just see how everything's gonna fit. Before I start dropping this engine, I wanna get one thing out of the way. And that's that I have no idea what I'm doing. I have never done this before. So here we go.
ảo ảo bit of a pint literally Off. That engine is actually not that heavy, really. Which I guess is good because I'm building this frame on this thick metal. This engine looks a lot bigger outside of the frame. I guess the best way to put this thing in here is just to pick it up and Put it where it's supposed to go. Okay, this thing is a lot bigger than I thought it was, and now we have a slight issue, which is the sprockets are a little bit overlapped, and we're already almost at the end here. I can scoot it forward a little bit, but I'm definitely going to have to make some sort of chain tension or device thingamabob there. I don't know. So given the current situation, I think the best option is going to be for me to extend the rear swing arm a few inches so the engine will fit so I can run a chain. But that's going to have to wait until next video because it's been like two months since I've uploaded. So I'm going to get working on that and hopefully the next video will be uploaded within the next three years.